Welcome back. It's no secret. Growth in the upstate is exploding, and now we're learning one school district will double in the next five years. Talk about Spartanburg District 4. Expecting 5,000 new homes in the area, some already in the development phase. And as more people move in, that means a lot more students in the classroom. Fox Carolina Jarvis Robertson stopped by the district to find out how teachers and officials are handling the influx of people. He's live in the newsroom right now. Yeah, Cody and Tori, I'm told 2,600 homes are in development right now, but that's not all that's coming. With the influx of people that are coming, more space is certainly needed. Now, for those who live in that area, the decision on how the district will handle the growth is all but left up to you. Jamie Gooker has been a seventh grade math teacher at Woodruff Middle School for 20 years. In the same classroom. She loves helping students think critically. A lot of times they don't absolutely love coming to school, but I want to make school a fun place for them. But there's one critical problem. The district is rapidly growing. I'm sitting at 28 students in my classes, um, and so I've already started to try to be creative. By creative, she means her husband built two high tops just so students can have somewhere to sit in class. We're running out of room here in Woodruff. Our schools are full. Superintendent Dr. William Liston says his district is expected to see around 5,000 homes developed within five years, maybe even more. Currently, Spartanburg 4 has around 2,900 students, but are expecting to get another 2,500 with the growth. A formula would be about one student for every two houses. So now, citizens will vote on a bond referendum. It is for up to $100 million. That would pay for a new high school. This would allow the current middle school to shift into the current high school building. Grades 4 and 5 would move into the current middle school building. Grades 2 and 3 would remain in the elementary building. First grade would move to the primary school building. And property taxes would see an increase. $10 a month on $100,000 worth of value. While it may be a little cramped, there's still work to be done. You remember the kids in your classrooms that are counting on you. You remember that those relationships that you build can last a lifetime. Most of this growth is going to occur from Woodruff North. Now, with the student population doubling in Spartanburg District 4, that means the number of teachers will increase too. Now, if the new high school is constructed, students won't begin in that facility until 2025. Now, citizens can vote on that referendum on August 11th, four months from now. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Jarvis Roberts in Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. All right, Jarvis, thanks.